So welcome everybody to the Ostara planting the seeds of intention ritual. I had hoped I know I was um, <laughs> planting little seeds of uh, excitement and anticipation. My intention was to decorate the the newly reclaimed greenhouse and I thought that that was such a perfect place to hold the ritual and to be planting like right into the soil and so I dragged everything out there this morning and um, the Wi-Fi didn't reach as far and um, hot spotting with the data <laughs> didn't work <laughs> all the the technology so here we are bringing the the beautiful outdoors indoors and opening ourselves to celebrating, you know, no matter where we are in the world, uh, Northern Hemisphere, <laughs> a different time of year um, in the Southern, but whether we are experiencing sun or rain or wind or snow, as some of us I believe are, there is this turn of the wheel, the opening to um, this awakening of life. We start to feel these energies starting to move and grow within us. You know, as this spring festival celebrates a solid return of life, awakening the energies within that are necessary to harness and honor if we are to be successful in bringing our hopes and dreams to fruition manifestation so this ritual as you can see from the items that are on the altar is an invitation to plant the seed of your future intention drawing upon the clarifying perspective brought by the alchemical stage of separation which is the stage that I align with this time of year. The alchemical stage of separation allows us to see who you are, what is important to you, what is important to you that is different from who others are, or what may be important to them, or even how they feel that they need to see you. This is that cutting the wheat from the chaff. What is mine? What is yours? And focusing on that seed of the self, knowing that as you sow what you plant, that is what you will reap. Sometimes the um, music needs to be re-encouraged. So this time, in this moment, in this place, creating this sacred space, stepping into this sacred ritual, this is the time to be intentional about what you sow. This time of Ostara and planting our seeds. In this poem, I don't know who the author is. I suspect it might be anonymous. Ode to Ostara. Ode to Ostara, goddess of spring, goddess of fertile new beginning, goddess of hope, goddess of bloom, Goddess of all the life held in a womb. As the wind kisses her plentiful hair, scent of new blossoms fills each whiff of air. As she treads lightly on frozen earth crest, 1,000 butterflies rise from their rest. As she strokes gently and gives the plants hopes, 
Rainbows bloom over the vales and hilltops. As she gazes up at lovely blue skies, larks charm the world with their musical cries. Ode to thee, the smile in a flower. Ode to thee, the life in rain shower. Ode to thee, the goddess of spring, for all the blessings that you always bring. And with that ode to spring in your heart, Bring your awareness to the space in which you sit. And with each of four breaths, bring your awareness fully to each of the four directions that surround you and the elements that are aligned with them. Breathe into north and the element of earth. Breathe into east and the element of air. Breathe into south and the element of fire. Breathe into west the element of water. With each of the next two breaths, bring your awareness fully into the below and into the above. Breathe into the below and feel the unwavering foundation of the earthbound material plane. Be aware of the earth that so many who have walked before have walked upon. The earth that carries the experiences and the very bones of our ancestors. Breathe into the above. Expand into the limitless breadth of the cosmic plane. The expanse of the all that has ever been. millions, billions of years. And with your next breath, find the place in the very center of all of that, all of the directions, above, below, it all comes together in the center and breathing into that place. Connect with the element of ether, the energy of spirit. Connect with the deity that you have invited to share this space or invite deity to share this space. And take a moment to acknowledge divine presence. Truly anchoring this as sacred space. And know that you yourself are also at the center of this sacred space. You too hold this space that is at the very hub 
the very hub of the universe. You are the meeting place of spirit above, and matter below, and the magic that surrounds And from the center of this sacred space, allow yourself to connect with the rising energies of the season that are pulsing beneath you in the earth and surrounding you in the very air that you are breathing. And find the resonant energies within yourself, that place that is yearning to burst forth. As a nice nin said, and the day came when the risk it took to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk to blossom. This is that day. If you have a candle, light that candle now and take some time gazing at the flame. If you have a picture of yourself as a school aged child, gaze at that picture and allow yourself to explore that sense of the you that is waiting to emerge. Pay attention to any words that come to mind to describe what you're feeling or the vision of what it is that you want to manifest in your life or any symbols that have meaning to you. Just allow that to make itself evident. And when you do have a sense, at least a sense of how to begin, take the planter in front of you and in your own time, allow the words and symbols and vision to take form, to find a place on the planter, to decorate the planter inside and out if you choose with everything that is reflective of your true self, of your hopes and dreams, and the strength that you have, the strength that you have recognized within yourself that will make those dreams come true. And we have time, take the time
And when your design feels complete, fill the planter half full of the potting soil and shift your attention to the cauldron that contains the seed, the seed of your future manifestation, which has been incubating while you have been forming the intention, but it is now ready to be planted in the waiting earth. So prepare the ground and then hold the seed in your hand. Feel the energies that run through the earth. Feel those energies run through you like a current. Feel the current that runs through the earth and that runs through you culminate in your palm and be transferred into the seed. Feel within yourself the joy of embracing the risk to blossom and then lay this precious seed in the earth and protect it with another layer of soil. and taking some time to gaze upon the light of the candle that is reflective of your light and knowing that you have the courage to plant and you have the, the strength within to guide what you have planted into being and as you gaze at the light and you connect with your seed. You feel that strength within. Listen to the words of this song. Be like a bird 
who pausing in her flight on a branch too slight feels it give way beneath her but sings sings knowing she has wings she sings sings knowing she has wings So touch that place within that knows how to persist. There may have been dark times in the past. I can pretty much guarantee that. There may be tough times in the future. The chances of that are pretty high. because such is life. The dark winters, the light summers. But regardless of what the days bring, you have the wings and you have the essence that lies within that knows how to soar regardless. So from this place, having planted the seed, having connected to that source of strength within, there are five cards from the Magical Botanical. There are four cards from the Bird Oracle. So pick one of each, between one and four for birds, between one and five for plants. And now we reveal Bird number one, the phoenix. Might have been a bit far away for that. <laughs> the phoenix. So there's a long message, but I will do the, I'll just uh, share the affirmation. I ask the over lighting consciousness of the Phoenix to help me transcend the destruction of my old support structures. Number two is, can you see that? The Shrike. Let's see, there we go. Wow. Well, that looks like some sovereignty there. Shrike's message is I ask the overlighting consciousness of the Shrike to be present as I align with my highest good to break through this situation. Number three is the seagull. Pretty much saw exactly this scene yesterday. <laughs> With about 50 seagulls. Posted that video yet. I call upon the overlighting consciousness of the seagull to help me access my unconscious fears 
and fly free. Number four is the Oriole. I invite the overlighting consciousness of the Oriole to give me the inner strength and courage to move forward. Well, our birds are uh, pretty much on point for the energy of the season. So now, our plants. Again, each of these has a lot of information and I will be posting that, but for this, I will share the affirmation. Number one, the thistle. So thistle's message Or affirmation I stand nobly in my power yes, thank you Thistle for being in alignment with the season number two is the Kala Lily Kala Lily's affirmation is my spiritual nature and sexual nature are balanced and harmonious. Number three is Dandelion. Dandelion's message is, I am both joyful and strong. Number four looks like, hold on, what is this one? It doesn't have it on, but it's hemlock. I'm not seeing that it's on here, but you can see Socrates. So generally, a Socrates is around. It's hemlock. Hemlock's affirmation is, I have the keys to my own freedom. And number five is Rue. And Rue's message affirmation is I am blessed and protected from all harm. So just take a moment to breathe in the message from your bird and your plant. And take one last moment 
to anchor the connection to your sense of your essence. And just feel how supported you are internally and externally to plant the seed, to nurture the seed, to cultivate your intention into full flower. Know that and feel that in this space, this sacred space, it has already happened. And using either your breath or a candle snuffer if you have one, release the flame of the candle before you and know that what has been experienced in ritual lives forever in your cells. It need only be called forth from within whenever you choose. And as we bless the earth, we release the flame with breath or snuffer. And after ritual, hold that intention of bringing water to the seed. If you have water on your altar, you can water now. Give that first nourishing drink. And focusing on your breath, take some time to move through the directions once more. Thanking the elements for helping to hold space and keep you safe throughout the ritual. Start again in the north with the earth. And then move to the east thanking air and to the south thanking fire and the west thanking water and finally and with thanking the earth, the below, the material plane, and all of the cosmos above, all that has been and will be. Thank and bid farewell to the deities who have been a part of this ritual with you and know that though the wheel may turn around you, you are as they are ever at the center. And we end with another Ostara poem, again, author unknown. The dancing hair foretells the spring with fertility and new life this time does bring. Gay westerday dances on the earth as seed and flowers come to birth. Tulips and daffodils come into bloom and life sprouts from the mother earth's womb. Birds lay their eggs now and the light is growing. Catkins and blossoms on the leaves are showing. The sun reaches forth with his hand to the maiden of flowers, returns to the land. Their dance brings new balance into our life, planting the seeds to overcome strife. We grow with the flowers and the trees. Winter's gloom banished 
on a spring breeze. The joy of new birth enters our hearts as we look forward to Beltane's love. So thank you for being part of this ritual and all the blessings, the balance of spring. May your seed grow and flourish and I look forward to seeing you at Beltane with the trees.